You're listening to the Ace and TJ Show podcast on the Ace and TJ family. Has your property been damaged in an emergency? Visit charlotte.pauldavis.com. Storm, fire, and water damage restoration, mold removal, contents cleaning, and more. Visit charlotte.pauldavis.com. That's charlotte.pauldavis.com. Pizza night's the best night of the week, but adding Papa John's new Parmesan crusted papadilla for yourself makes it even better. The kids get slices and you get a crispy Parmesan covered flatbread. It's like a toasty cheese fireworks show in your mouth. Woo! And the grand finale, the meat and melty cheese folded inside. Get a new Parmesan crusted papadilla just for you for only seven bucks. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Not valid with discount fees and taxes. Extra prices may vary. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Uh, people are talking about strippers this morning, and uh, it's not what you think, but we'll get into that in just a second. But first, the, the top trending topic this morning, uh, the president of Haiti was assassinated overnight. Ooh. He's been in office since 2017. And, you know, Haiti has dealed with decades of corruption on all levels of the government. But they always said that this president was, I think they said, straight as a string. He was a good person, had a family. Uh, He's got a family. He's got a family. And he was assassinated overnight by a couple of gunmen in his yeah. in his home. His wife mm-hmm. was injured, but she survived. But That's one of those crazy. things. That when they had that earthquake, was, how many years ago was that? Really, the first really bad earthquake yeah. thing. They had another one right after it. But all those... Billions of dollars in aid, whatever were sent, and then we were like, um, "Nothing's really changing. What's happening?" Yeah. It was because of it was before this guy, but it was yeah. it was because of the, there was that highlighted a lot of the corruption. My understanding is that's one of the things that helped him get into office. People were like, "We know people are sending us money. What's not? What's going on? We're not rebuilding anything here." That yeah, kind of thing. It's crazy. So that's a, just a crazy story from this morning. Also, have you been keeping up with this condo collapse in Florida? You know. On the news, they do it by, you know, they, they're doing the body count. You know, we found one more person. We found one more person. It's been going on and on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that the best way to cover that story? Does, no. that, does that help the families get through it? No. It just feels... Well, I don't... Feels, but let's be honest. If I'm being very honest about it, uh, it's not the news' responsibility to help the families. Their responsibility is to cover the story. Now, do I think there should be some compassion shown? Sure. But all they're doing is reporting an update on a big national story, yeah. and that's what's happening. They, as they as they tear that rubble apart and and remove that stuff, they're going to continue to find bodies. So when people were left with, "Hey, there are you know a hundred missing bodies, a hundred people are missing, fourteen are dead at one point." That's just the news. Yeah, it's it's the ongoing story, and it will be that way until they clear that lot. Yeah. Uh, Chick-fil-A is our favorite fast food for the seventh year in a row, uh, beating out Domino's, KFC, Starbucks, Five Guys, Panera, and Pizza Hut. And uh, Our being America. Yeah. 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 So, makes sense. Everybody loves Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. TJ said something, though, that I, I have subscribed to after he mentioned it, because I used to think it was, but I think he's right. Five Guys is not fast food. I wouldn't say Panera is fast food either. No. Well... Yeah, what did they they prefaced it by saying it's like limited service restaurants mm. okay. among limited service yeah. restaurants. Okay, well, that makes sense. But it's I mean, full, if they're serving you peanuts while you're waiting, that's not fast food. You know, you're going to be there a few minutes. Yeah. If it's not a they don't have a drive-through, it's not fast food. Yeah. Boom. And then they said McDonald's <laughs> finished at the bottom of that list. Yeah. Yet everybody loves McDonald's. I don't understand that. It's I don't know I know it, I love McDonald's. It's, it's almost too. like a it's, it's a stigma. Yeah, it's yeah. so are, successful you know. and da, 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 and people are like oh I hate McDonald's. No, you don't. We all love He's McDonald's. Bunch of Marxists. Yeah, admit yeah. it. We everybody loves McDonald's. It's so good. Yeah, uh, McDouble, no um, onions or mustard, and a ten piece with some sweet and sour. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I had yeah. a fillet of fish Sunday, and it was. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, TJ put me on that fillet of fish, and I just can't get enough of it. Yeah, extra cheese every time though. And I'll I'll quote uh, my wife Amanda as I was eating my fillet of fish. Are you already finished? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Yeah, I kind of ate that in a hurry. She's like, I cannot believe how fast you ate that fillet. I hadn't had one in so long, and I just I I may have actually just inhaled half of it. It was just gone. That bone. I always go. Well, it was small. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's fish. It's fine. It's healthy. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> uh, and then there's a guy in the UK named Lee Kemp. He's uh, a disabled person, very handsome, and he started his own disabled men's strip group, uh, and they're called the Crippendales, which uh, you know he came up with. Uh, but they're they're a variety of guys. Um, a, one guy has seizures a lot, but they said this is a way to turn our disability into something that could attract a lot of a, pe- a lot of people. Uh, we're learning the dances; they're having fun just as a guys group, and they're you him. know women are showing up in droves to see these guys, and they're all you know handsome guys. One guy has a prosthetic leg, um, a variety of things, special needs, but um, that's awesome. They're turning this into something uh, profitable, and they're having fun while they're doing it. So. You got to be in the UK to go see them. They're not traveling abroad yet, but uh, the Crippendales are. <laughs> I think are that's sad. fantastic. Good for them. That's you awesome. Know, and it, there's a documentary that kind of follows them learning the dances and how to be yeah. a, a stripper. I guess <laughs> it's kind of a clever. That's idea. great. Mm-hmm. But that is what's now trending. Okay. There's a story that has gone viral. Some of us on the show think that it's fake. Others may not know, but uh, how it relates to you in your life. You know, could be really, really funny. and Or we could just point fingers at you and call you a thief as well. We'll find out next. Elite podcasters use RadioButtonNetwork.com to find all their podcast resources. More Ace and TJ coming up. Ever wanted to break out of your cubicle and into a business where you can call the shots? You Break Guy Fix is looking for passionate self-starters interested in a franchise opportunity in the booming electronics repair industry. At You Break Guy Fix, we help reconnect people to the devices that they rely on so that they can get back to what matters most. This is a big responsibility. And from the moment you join our family, our franchisees are provided with the resources and support to bring affordable and convenient electronics repair to your community. Did we mention that with amazing partners like Samsung and Google, You Break I Fix franchisees also have access to the highest quality parts and personalized training out there, as well as specialized tools. It's true. And it's also easy to visit YouBreakIFix.com forward slash franchising and learn more about your big break at your very own You Break I Fix. another ace and tj family profile alexis they have a lot of words in the flintstones like a lot of (laughs) (laughs) words this is the ace and tj show and it's one of the greatest sentences ever uttered on this program so right they have a lot of words in the flintstones (laughs) yeah each episode 30 minutes (laughs) (laughs) whatever Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um there is a um a story going around on the internet's on the TikToks, I don't remember which TikTok it is. It's one of the TikToks. Um, where this lady is claiming that these construction, um, this construction company showed up, these builders, at her house, mistakenly thinking that they were at another house that was supposed to have something built in the backyard. They start building, and she says, I didn't stop them because I want to see what it is because I want whatever it is that they're building in my backyard, even though it's not supposed to be there for me. Then people started hassling her, saying that's stealing, and she then came back and said, oh, I'm going to pay for whatever it is, whether it's a deck or whether it's a patio, whatever it is they're building, I'm going to pay for it. But I'm just not telling them that they're at the wrong house. Then it goes on, and then she says that uh, somebody ratted her out to the construction company and whatever. So then it gets far-fetched. But it's fun to keep up with if that's what you're doing. Regan, she said it's been she's taken everything down now, and, and she took uh, she took the first video down, and yeah. Uh, but yeah, then she said she's going to pay for it, whatever it is. But right, she let them know. Um, but there is a uh, school of thought among a lot of Americans that if somebody makes a mistake and gives you something that you weren't supposed to have, that you automatically get it for free. You know, if you're at the ATM. And you and you're getting a hundred dollars out, and it spits out five hundred dollars by mistake. That you're just allowed to keep that money. It's their mistake, yeah. which is not the case, and will get you arrested if you try to keep money that is not supposed to be yours that came to you by mistake. It got my college roommate a call from the bank, 
And he yeah. tried to deny it. They were like, sir, we have you on film. He found that if you, when you put his ATM card in, if you didn't take the money out, uh, when it, it times out, and you cancel the thing, the money's dropped. And he did learned it accidentally, and so then he, like, he was talking, didn't pay attention, and didn't open the little drawer to take the money at the time, mm-hmm. and so it timed out. He put the card back in and got money out. And when the drawer opened, there was forty dollars in the drawer, but the receipts that had just only taken twenty bucks out. He came back to the apartment. He's like. It will just give you. I said, so in other words, you stole 20 bucks. Plus, I'm sure they have that document. He goes, no, I, that's what happened. The next morning, they called him. Right. They were like, we need you to come to the bank. <laughs> yeah, and the the police will say, hey, you know, it's not yours. You know it's not yours. The company made a mistake. They're allowed to make mistakes. Give them their property back sure. or whatever it is. Doesn't work that way. Now, uh, we've had this argument on the show a lot of times because Riggins feels like if something is given to him and uh, l- like if he gets a, a package from Amazon that's not what he's supposed to get, that they would say, just keep it because he's uh, like, I, now I got to go to the trouble to send it back to him and all that. So that is a different situation because now they will a lot of times just just keep that, whatever it was, we'll send you what you really ordered, so forth and so on. But whether it's legitimate like that or whether it's another mistake that you probably should not have benefited from, what is the mistake that that got you something free? Somebody made a mistake and you, you ended up with something free out of the deal. Could be, a you know, one of the greatest things that's ever happened to you. Um, there is a movie that was made in the 80s about um uh, you know one of the colorful uh, Louisiana governors in history named Earl K Long and it was made in my hometown of Winfield Louisiana um there were um there were, I think maybe four there've been four or five um famous people from my hometown in its history Earl K Long Huey P Long they were both crooked politicians, and Huey P. Long was basically a Marxist. But my hometown is so proud because he was famous governor. Could have been president if they hadn't have assassinated him in the in the uh, in the um, the Capitol building in Louisiana. I'm like, okay, but that would be a president who's a who was a stinking communist, radical. You know, then I was in the first grade on field trips, and they would call me down. Like, Don't you say that. We got parks dedicated to these governors. Um, and then uh, a guy played in the NBA named P.J. Brown. He's from my hometown of Winfield, Louisiana. And a guy that played in the NFL named Anthony Thomas. He was he used to be Michigan's all-time leading rusher. I don't know if he still is or not. And me. Five. You know, right. That's it. Um, so... When they came to town, Paul Newman was the star of this movie called Blaze. And Blaze was the story of Earl K. Long, the governor, falling in love with a stripper. And they had a, a loving relationship, even though he was married. And the whole thing, he kept her as his girlfriend. But anyway, when these celebrities came to town, Winfield, Louisiana, does not have hotels. There's one motel. And you know what it's called? The motel? It used to be called, at this time, it was called the Huey P. Long Motor Lodge. <laughs> I used to see the sign. Everything the named after yeah. these two politicians who were cousins. Um, so, Paul Newman had to have a place to stay while he was in town shooting the movie. I mean, this is an A-list, like legendary movie star. And Lolita Davidovich, what, Davidovich was the woman who played Blaze. Blaze. Now, she... Had to have a place to stay. So they rented out people's houses. They rented my mom's friend's house out in the country for um, Lolita Davinovich. And uh, they said um, she would like to change a few things in your house to make it more like her home. More comfortable for her. We'll put it back exactly the way it was when we're done or... You can come in and look at it, and if you'd like to keep it the way she has redesigned it, then it's completely free of charge. You can keep it, or we'll put it back the way it was. So basically, they went in and got their house completely remodeled, free. 
Now, that wasn't a mistake, but they still benefited from something that they weren't supposed to have to begin with. Yeah. But we're looking for something that along the lines of they came to my house while I was on vacation and they built a deck in my backyard and it wasn't supposed to be there and they couldn't just come rip it out. So they said, our mistake, you get the free deck on the back of your house. Maybe you uh, maybe you did go to, uh, maybe you went to the store and uh, the person behind the counter said, oh, you know what? I didn't. I didn't ring the, you up for that extra, um, that extra lottery ticket. Scratcher, just go ahead and take that, and you end up winning twenty five hundred dollars. Well, the one, whatever. I, the one I referenced before in college, there was a Burger King that we started going to regularly because it seemed like about eighty percent of the time they made a mistake in your favor. You mm-hmm. get more change, and I'd point out like, "Hey, I'm sorry, you gave me like a dollar too much. It's fine." <laughs> Or they give you the bag. You look at the grocery. Be inside the bag. Be like, yeah. Hey, um, we have an extra hamburger and fry. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we would go yeah, I there. Think those happen a lot. We would go there all the time because we knew you got an eighty percent shot of either getting some extra money back or getting extra food. And typically, it was extra food. And once it goes out the window, they can't bring it back in. Right? Is that the fast food rule? Is that why I didn't know that? I think so. Okay. Or they can, but they they throw it away or or whatnot. Yeah, so you they, can't like resell it or anything. No, because like that. that happened one time at a chicken place. I was in the drive through, and I looked in it, and it was supposed to have all dark meat, and it had white meat in it. So when I took it back inside, they said you might as well keep that because you know, we'll give the, you what you order here. Yeah. But yeah, mm-hmm. so that was a benefit on somebody's mistake. Yeah, you know, a bunch of white meat chicken I threw away. <laughs> 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 don't I don't know if I've made that clear. I don't like white meat chicken. No, sir. So one triple eight forty one ace TJ. Let's see how big we can get. The biggest the most someone has benefited from a, a mistake that somebody else made. We got a good one here, lady. Something happened yeah. at Target that's pretty <laughs> pretty awesome. So one triple eight forty one ace TJ or DM us. Let's go. Free, safe, and effective. It's the Ace and TJ show. another Ace and TJ family profile. Riggins. I put mayonnaise on a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ show. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I just spat everywhere. I said it. <laughs> Why are you spitting? Why are you spatting been, everywhere? I have been spat. Oh. Um, who has benefited the most from somebody else's mistake? Whether it was something you should have legally kept or not, we'll take we'll take all of them. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Here's a good one. I won a trip to Vegas from a radio station to see George Strait. When we got to T-Mobile Arena, they couldn't find my tickets. We finally got in after missing an hour and a half of the show. So the record label sent me a signed guitar from George. Totally worth standing outside T-Mobile. That's cool. Mm -hmm. But is that a mistake or is that just a a make good for a mistake? Does it still count rather than, um, you know, like a lot lot of these, um, we've gotten several said, uh, you know, they ordered something from uh, Target and they went to pick it up and they couldn't find their order. And then they just said, okay, just take it. You know, we've gotten several of those where Target yeah. made the mistake and they ended up getting whatever for free. Okay. Um, well, let me, would this one count as that, though? This lady said, we went to Lowe's to buy a new washer and dryer. We purchased the washer and dryer, and before it was to be delivered, we were told that order was that it was no longer in stock. So they go back to the store, and they said, look, just pick any one of them, and we'll, we won't charge you anything extra. She said they ended up buying one that cost double of what they would have ordered. Now, is that hmm. a correction for a mistake, or is that benefiting well, from their mistake of them selling them one and it wasn't available? Um, I think it counts. Oh. Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah. This is more along the lines, though, of your everyday thing. That I ordered a $25 comforter online from Overstock. They accidentally sent me a KitchenAid Pro Mixer with all the extra attachments. Overstock said to keep all of it, and then they would send me a comforter ASAP. 
That's a, a good KitchenAid Pro mixer is yeah, probably a couple hundred bucks. With all yeah. the attachments, too? Mm -hmm. For a $20 comfort. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a good one. But Really good. I think so far the biggest one, uh, hey, keep me anonymous, please. Because of an, an accounting error, I got my breast augmentation free. <gasps> what is that, about $10,000? Um, I don't know what it costs. Yeah, probably you know in that ballpark. Yeah. Okay, that's a come up. Hmm. Yeah, do we have pictures of? Before? Well, she's on Facebook. There. Okay, great. Yeah, and I guess there are pictures of her. I mean, not pictures of them, pictures of her. Yeah, sure. Let's see it. <laughs> um, those, those free hoots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost like you got them free. So why should we not be able to see them? You know, right, the Riggins? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're not really yours. Don't be so selfish. I mean, you got them for free. <laughs> Come on. Well, share with everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you got this for free, Cheryl. <laughs> Stingy. <laughs> See them free hoops? <laughs> Come on now. You know what I love about you, Riggin? Hmm. Always class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See your free hoops. I mean, it makes sense. Don't be stingy. <laughs> it's not like you had to pay for them. Yeah, if they bring out a side of fries for free, right. you're like, I'm not going to keep them to myself. It's for the table. <laughs> Share them with the table. This is the Ace and TJ show. Yeah, they gave me a 10 piece when I ordered a six. Yeah. So here, y'all split these four. Yeah, come on. No Let's skin go. off my nose. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh, I know this looks bad, officer, but uh, that is not my cocaine. I don't care where you found it. It is not my cocaine. This story is going to have you raffing and telling everybody the rest of the day about it. Coming up next. Ace and TJ. Grandma, watch me jump in. Okay, I'm watching. Did you see me? Whoa, that was amazing. What a jump. The people you love most are only a vaccine away. Virginians can now receive a free COVID-19 vaccine. Visit vaccinate.virginia.gov or call 1-877-829-4682. Brought to you by the Virginia Department of Health. Coming up on the Ace and TJ Families, Share Funny. Oh, I don't know. What are we doing today? Something funny. Surely. Um, <laughs> we have some stories that we can't talk about on the regular old radio, as we normally do on uh, on the Share Funny. That's a pattern of the Share Funny podcast. podcast. That's basically what it's for, is um, extra time uh, to elaborate on things. Like, we could take, we could take this story and... Um, and then just beat it to death on uh, on Share Funny, um, which you get on wherever you get your podcasts and all that. You stream it live um, on the Ace and TJ app at 9 Eastern, 8 Central. Um, but this story is a 31-year-old guy in Northern Ireland named Declan Butcher. Great a cool name. Good name. Declan, Declan Butcher. Butcher. With the rock and roll countdown. <laughs> uh, he was arrested for drugs. Um, because police discovered a small bag of cocaine on him. Um, actually, betwixt part of him. Okay. You know, yeah. wherever a guy can have something betwixt. Right there. I don't like that word. Which, you know, happens a lot when somebody's going into jail or whatever. They'll try to, comp you know, um, we you know, contra they had the contraband hidden in their person or, you know, whatnot. That's why they strip um, search. But the thing about Declan is that he said, uh, that is not my cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody left it there. Stop. Mm -hmm. That is not mine. That must be somebody else's. Hmm. He has a little bit of a rap sheet, though, so they didn't believe him. If it weren't for the rap sheet, they would have totally believed, totally believed. that somebody <laughs> just left the, the cocaine um, into his buttocks. Um, he was previously previously arrested five years ago after getting into a bar fight with two men and knocked both of them out with one punch. Now, this is a bad guy. 
He Wait. Eaten, like one punch knocked two guys out. So not one punch each. No. Just, just he a threw single one punch. punch, hit two guys, hit two and guys knocked them both out. Yeah. And at the time, he had 51 previous convictions, including eight assaults. The Butcher. The Butcher. That's how, right. How Declan is, the Butcher, yeah. not just Declan Butcher. But that's another one. How is he not locked up with 51 convictions, eight assaults? Well, it's in Ireland. You know, they oh, love to okay. fight in yeah. Ireland. Yeah. They, probably, fight. they love forgot, to yeah. get drunk and fight in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the norm out there. Yeah. Fighting in Ireland, not the same. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Irish people knock you out. Knock multiple people out with one punch. Yeah. That's insane. Mm -hmm. All while um, clinching cocaine um, in the buttocks. I yeah. can't wait to call somebody. Like, did I leave my phone at your place? And they're like, no, I don't see it. I'm like, can you check between your butt cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Just check. Come on. I need that. I'm retracing my steps. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on Now Trending with Riggins. Uh, guess who's coming to your town for a comedy show? Here's a, here's a, a little hint. How about that? Mm, no way. Yo, we're getting back out there. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'll give you some details in less than 10 minutes in Now Trending. The Ace and TJ Show on the Ace and TJ family. Now serving. B24 at DMV window number seven. Okay, Jim, we're next in line. Perfect, Jim. Things are going very smoothly. You remember the cell phone bill? Yes, and the birth certificate. Nice. We'll have a real ID in no time. That's right. Ready to fly to Carla's graduation and then the big game. Real great work, Jim. You too, Jim. Excuse me, are you talking to yourself? Now serving B25 at window number 10. That's our cue, Jim. Excuse us. Talk yourself into real ID readiness by May 3rd, 2023. Make a plan at dhs.gov slash real ID.